Hi guys, a lot of things is happening presently in Nigeria and a lot of Nigerians are not happy while we have some who are happy for one of the Nigerian ex-governor who actually missed out of Tinobu's ministerial appointment as he bags a new job. A lot of Nigerians are happy and at the same time we have some who are experiencing, you know, uh, sadness over this new appointment, over this new job of him, probably because he did, you know, woefully during his tenure as the governor of the state he governed. Of course, you might be wondering who this governor is. Well, who would like you to see tight as we go into the full details of the news to see who this governor is and the new job he has just, you know, bagged. I welcome you again to Everyday Affairs. Now to the full details of the news, it has just been said that one of the ex-governors of Nigeria, Nasu Erofai, takes new job after missing Tinobu's ministerial appointment. The immediate past governor of Kaduna State, Nasu Erofai, has announced he is set to resume a new job after controversially missing out on a ministerial appointment by President Bola Ahmed Tinobu. Niger News recalls Herofai was one of the persons whose names were forwarded to the National Assembly by President Tinobu for screening and confirmation as ministers in his government. The lawmakers, however, did not clear him due to security reasons. Weeks after the drama, the former governor revealed on Monday 4th of December that he is set to resume as the part-time chairman of the board of AfriVenture Capital Limited. That's um, chairman of the board for AfriVenture Capital Company Limited. Pardon. Herofi added that the company hopes to finance, nurture, and mentor young innovators and entrepreneurs in Nigeria and Africa. Taking to his account on the X platform, the former Cardinal State Governor wrote, Monday announcement. I can confirm that our Vice, you know, Vice Chancellor PE firm, AfriVenture Capital Company Limited, will, by the grace of God, begin operation initially in Abuja in January 2024 with Jimmy Lawal, Afis, Bayero, Eyipo, Epo, and Kabu Yabu as founding directors and initial stakeholders. I am privileged to be the part-time chairman of the board. Please pray for our success in the Nigeria and in the near future African innovators and entrepreneurs we hope to finance, nurture and mentor to be the Dangote group of the future. What is your take to this? What is your own reaction to this brand development? Do you think uh, this company, do you think this group of individuals who have come together to make uh, Herify a part-time you know, chairman of their company, who have thought of making uh, Herify you know, resume as the part-time chairman of the board for AfriVenture Capital Company Limited have done something good? Do you think they've made the right choice? Of course, we cannot choose for them. Of course, we cannot make them, you know, believe that Aerofi is competent or not. But it's obvious that Aerofi has bagged a new, you know, job, and a lot of Nigerians, like I said earlier, are happy, and some aren't happy. Are you happy for Aerofi on this uh, new success of which he has just clinched? Well, who would like you to share your own point of view with us? via the comment section on this present development but before we go let's see what people's reactions is uh here Joseph quickly reacted and said islamic terrorist company abi aim at building more terrorists among the brainwashed islamic children wow this is a very powerful uh comment from Joseph saying that well, I didn't believe Aerofi would be able to manage any company if not for 
or any Islamic company. So for everybody to be a part-time chairman, don't worry, it will soon be a full-time chairman because it's definitely going to be an Islamic terrorist company aimed at building more terrorists among the brainwashed Islamic children. Do you also agree with what Jossi have just said? That they are set to start breeding new terrorists in this their uh, alleged company of which Herofi is uh, a part-time chairman well we would like you to see you know we would like you to drop your own thoughts on this that has been said another reaction from lawa umba who have said double congrats to you sir a quick reaction from truth who said your end has come to stay the blood of the innocent woman children killed under your administration will continue to hurt you until you are no more evil will never prevail this is another powerful reaction from truth who have reacted and said hellfire hey, can never know peace and in fact his end has come because the blood of the innocent women the children that were killed under his administration will continue to hurt him until he is no more saying evil will never prevail now relating these comments to what has been said earlier by uh Jussie, saying that this is an islamic company aiming at building more uh, terrorists among the brainwashed Islamic children. Can you see the correlation? Do you think Erofa is actually so dangerous? That a lot of people believe that anything Erofa is participating in is gonna be, you know, terrorist-like. Well, let's look your own point of view on this that has been said. Just like I said, a lot of people are happy as Erofa is bagging this new appointment and at the same time we have people who are not pleased with it well let's go further and see what other people's reactions is on this we have kukumo also reacted and said nobody will pray for you as you don't deserve any form of prayer from nigerians due to your past antecedents due to the past antecedents nobody will pray for her just like i've been saying do you think erofi deserves to be a part-time chairman of this company due to the past antecedents of which we all know about well we would like you to share your thoughts with us via the comment section we'd like you to let us know your own take on this a lot of people have shared their thoughts with us a lot of people have expressed their pleasure and displeasure concerning this new job of which erofi has just you know uh, obtained forget Nasty Herofi takes new job after missing Tunubu's ministerial appointment. I would like you to let us know your own take on this that has been said. Thank you guys for listening. To subscribe to this channel, like, share, comment and I will see you on the other news. Bye for now.